my brothers and my sisters, budget solo filmmaker out there, please tell me, what do you want? We want the film look. You want the film look. And how do you want it? We want it cheap. I might have something for you. Now, everybody with me. What's in the box? 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 Okay, there are already hundreds of thousands of reviews of this lens, so I won't waste your time with one long and detailed review. I will try to make it short. In my opinion, you really need to give some consideration to this lens before investing in one Canon FD set or before a famous YouTuber make all the price on eBay go to the roof with one video tilted why you need one vintage zoom or how great is the Canon FD zoom. You get the point. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, this lens is one, if not is the only best bargain of all the Canon FD lenses. For around $50, you have the Canon FD look with a macro and the focal lens of 35, 50, 75, 105 mm. Meaning that in one package, you have your Canon vintage look, you have your macro, you close shot, you made your shot and wide shot everything with just one lens. I can already hear the bokeh fanatics complaining about the f3.5. We want the Listen, unfortunately this day we are just a bit brainwashed with this kind of bokeh, 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 bokeh. And we have forgotten that bokeh is only one artistic technique among many others. How does it make you feel? I feel it doesn't matter how it makes you feel! <laughs> oh no! Are you crying? This is my polite way to say stop calling anything cinematic just because you put some uh, blur background with one slow-mo and one LUT. No, no. We need to stop that. Now let's sum up the pros and the cons. One, the price. We already talked about that. For the price of one Chinese budget prime, you have one Canon FD zoom. I mean, there are no mathematics to be done. This is jackpot. Two, the build. Don't believe the people who say that this lens look plasticky or cheap. Yes, the body is made of plastic, but the good old strong plastic that looks good and feels good in the hands. Three, sharpness. This lens is naturally sharp at the center, soft at the edges while still having the organic touch. But in fact, it really depends on your model. Mine has a bit of haze and fungus that increase a bit the softness, but I like that, I really don't mind. 4. The focus. The focus pool is perfect for filming. It's smooth and long. 5. The look. For your information, I love the Canon FD warm look. But with this zoom, this is not as strong as the FD Prime which can be good if you consider the color grading. Six, and last one. It should be in the cons, but I consider it a good point. For filming, I mean. The lens weighs 700 grams, which is good if you need to add more weight to your camera and stabilize the footage. Now the cons, and here my biggest critique. This lens flare easily and dramatically when pointing to one light source. And this is not the beautiful artistic flare. No, 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 no. This is the ugly one that will ruin the picture and any glass you had like a focal reducer or filter will make it worse. Talking about focal reducer, when I use the Roxen, in the middle of the picture, I have like a blue circle only when I point to the light source. Otherwise, it's okay. 
Also, the filter mount turns with focusing. So if you screw one variable ND filter on it, you will always have to readjust it. And this is quite a pain sometimes. The minimum focusing distance is 1.5, meaning that it's not fun to film indoor with this lens. Now the big deal. Contrary to the urban legend how there, this lens is not parfocal. Almost, but not parfocal. If you focus at 105 mm and you pull back, you mostly keep the focus, but this is not the other way around. Macro. The macro mode is limited, but still useful if you really need one macro shot. The aperture is not the click, but uh, it's okay. And the bokeh. As I previously said, this lens is not for the bokeh nazi. If you want it, you will have to work for it, but still, it produces the very nice creamy Canon FD bokeh. Now, some comparative tests, just to give you an idea of the different focal lengths. No, 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 we don't have time for that, we don't have time for that. Let's, let's, let's wrap up this video. Should you buy this lens? My answer is definitely, but this is not one great lens. This is one good lens. I never said that this lens was great. This is one zoom. It will never be better than one prime, but I mean for $40, $50, uh, above mine for $40. I mean, if you take a look at the panorama of all the FD lenses, this is the best deal for you bucks. That's it. Okay, so I think we're done now. Yeah? So, have fun. I'll see you next time. I don't know when. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.